be? I was afraid you're going to miss the happiest night of your life. You don't want to be late for your own wedding, do you? I gotta get rid of that paternity test. I gotta find it first. Where is that stupid dog? Come here, you little mongrel. What little mongrel? David Vickers, what have you got there? Oh, no. honey, that's not yours. No, this is Natalie's. Hey, oh, I'm I'm sorry. She has this habit of of taking things that aren't hers. But you know, it's it's okay if she didn't hurt it. So um, let's um, no, the, the limo's coming any second. So let's get you dressed. Natalie, what's wrong? Are, are you okay? I uh, <clears throat> I had to. Uh, to say goodbye to John. I was looking for Tina's dog. David Vickers? Why? Why well, I'm missing something. You know how dogs are. They like to pick things up and bury them. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly what happened. Uh, don't tell Tina I told you this, but that little spoiled mud of hers will pick up just about anything that isn't nailed down. Uh, what have you lost? Ah, uh, my boutonniere for the wedding. Uh, I think she might have eaten it, so I was... Yeah, have you seen her? I'd like it right here. Thanks, yeah. I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> it's okay to be a little jumpy. Wedding jitters, right? Unless it's something else. Natalie, your eyes look a little puffy. Do you have any cucumbers? No, I'm allergic. Honey, I wasn't talking about eating them. I was... Oh, okay, never mind. We'll just skip to step number five. Oh, can we just skip to the step where you just give me some time alone, please? Honey. A lot of planning has gone into this wedding. I, I mean, if we get behind, we are never going to catch up. We have to stay on schedule, okay? So, um, what happened with John? Did, um, did you tell him that because you're marrying somebody else, you two just have to stick to police business or what? No. No, I said goodbye to him like we were saying goodbye for good. Like we were never going to see each other again. Seattle? Why is John moving so far away? He says, um, because his brother lives there, and he wants to get to know his nephew a little bit better. But I don't believe him. I don't believe him. I think that he's moving because of me. I think that he wants to put as much distance between us as he possibly can, which makes me feel terrible. Why? Because you feel you pushed him away, or because you're going to miss him? Both. I just don't understand. I mean, why would he go to such extreme measures if he didn't have feelings for me? Well, he probably still does. But he denies it. Well, do you think he's lying? I, I think that I shouldn't care. I mean, I'm getting married to someone else. And you know what? I just... Uh, the thought of John being gone for good, it's... It's just overwhelming. Well, yeah, I mean, you... I mean, you almost got married. I mean, you, you clearly meant a lot to each other. For a long time. It's not too late. You don't have to go through this wedding if you don't want to. There's still time to call it off. Now, a lot of guys get spooked right at the big moment. But you still seem pretty tense. I guess. It's just... You don't know how much we've had to go through to get to this point. There's been stuff with Jessica and Natalie, stuff with Jessica and me. I just don't want there to be any more stuff. Not when we're this close. I can understand that. But listen, you're at the finish line, right? You've been through all this, okay? It's gonna be just fine. All right. No, I can't. I'm not stopping the wedding today. I mean, Brody and I have, have been looking forward to this for, for weeks. You know, I'm not gonna let John ruin this for us. Okay, as long as you're doing what's right for you. John had his chance. Honestly, had he come to me and said that he loved me, I, I would have had to rethink everything. But he didn't, so forget it. You know, it's not like John can just come and stop my wedding at the last minute, and neither can Jessica. Jessica? Wh what did she do? You really want to hear this story? I mean, because it, it's scary. I'm not kidding. Yeah, what happened? Okay, well, um, Jessica came to me with this whacked out story that, that John is really Liam's father, <laughs> and Brody isn't. I mean, it was just, it was so... <laughs> Vickers, what's wrong? What's wrong with me? 
What's wrong with you two? What Jessica said is true, you nitwits. But you don't have to worry, my friend. Today, the groom doesn't have to worry about a whole lot. It's the bride that has to sweat every single detail. And I gotta tell you, Tina did it. She pulled it off. She pulled it all together. Well, I'm not really worried about the ceremony. Well, don't worry about all that happily ever after stuff. That'll all work out. Just get through today. <laughs> you know, Tina and I, we've been through three different weddings. I know you guys can make it through one. <laughs> and on that other stuff, you and Natalie have already got a huge jump start on that. That beautiful little baby. That's the stuff that's going to keep you guys together. Those are the bonds that are never going to be broken your whole lives. That's what makes it stronger. Okay, I have great news. What's up? Clint is going to be able to come to the wedding after all. <laughs> oh, hey, how'd that happen? Well, Senator Dorian Lord made it happen. Dorian? Oh, yeah. It's a long story, and we don't have time for that now, because we have a wedding to get to. Yes. <laughs> oh, and we better get a move on. Cord, would you give me just one moment with my future son-in-law? Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, See you outside. I'll be right there. How can humans be so clueless? John McBain is a lamb's father. Read my lips. I don't know what's wrong with David Vicker. She's usually not this vocal. Oh, I'm vocal, all right, but you won't listen. You know, she's probably just jealous that the bride to be is getting all the attention. Mm -hmm. Now, David Vickers, you get a hold of yourself. Now, where did Jessica get this crazy idea that John was Liam's father? Ah, uh, she saw a document, the paternity test. That's right. She did see a paternity test. It was in a box of Victor Lord's stuff, and I took it. Okay, fine. If I have to prove it, I have to prove it. Well, where did this document come from? That's the kicker. She said that the one who found the paternity test was David Vickers. She's gone. I looked in the hallway. I can't find David Vickers anywhere. It's going to be okay, Tina. You're going to find... Oh, hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? Oh, okay. Um, thanks. Sorry. Thank you. I'll be right down. It's a limo. Um, it's downstairs. I've really got to get to the church. Oh. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I need a minute to finish getting ready. You know what? No, Tina, you, you can't leave. Not while David Vickers is still missing. No, I, I have to. I, I can't let you down. You haven't. Honestly, with as much work as you've done, I mean, you... You really have been great. Yeah, but I'm... I'm the maid of honor. I made a promise. And I have to see this through. I mean, I have a lot to make up to you. No, you know what? I am going to go find a maid of honor. And you are going to stay here and find your little doggie. Really? You don't mind? No. Not at all. Well, I will be there as soon as possible, I promise. Hey, and don't forget, when it comes time to take your vows, say, I, Natalie, take you Brody. Thanks for... All right, trust me, they're going to be here any second. Who? The bride and the maid of honor? <laughs> what do you think of me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, David Vickers, you naughty little girl. You're going to make me miss this wedding. Do you realize that? I mean, I already checked with the neighbors. Nobody knows where you are. Come back, please, little David Vickers. Please come back. Here we go. I just hope that paternity test is where I left it. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to reach that now? Hey, Tina, are you here in the church? I wish. Unfortunately, I had to stay behind because little David Vickers is missing again. Have you never heard of a leash, Tina? Look, I will be there as soon as I possibly can, I promise. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I hate for you to miss this. I hate this, too. I mean, we should be there together. I mean, to see this beautiful wedding that I planned with virtually no help from anybody else. But, but I can't leave till I know that little David Vickers is safe. I mean, she's just a poor, innocent little animal. I just pray that God will bring her home again. <laughs> you are the best wedding gift ever. <laughs>
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here before God and these witnesses to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. 